Well, hi everybody. Today I thought it would be fun to share with you my thrifted and budget-friendly items that I use for storage and organization around my home. So that way when you're out thrifting or shopping, you can look for those type of pieces or similar items for your home. So I have a 950 square foot home. Most of you know that if you've been following me. And so I like to use multifaceted pieces for storage. And I also like to make the most for my small space, make the most out of my small space. And so there's a lot of pieces I have found thrifted. I have some Dollar Tree bins. Um, years back I bought some bins from hauler.com. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's like an online dollar store. Just a little bit more quality, a little higher um, end gear than dollar store. But I am going to just kind of take you around little places, little areas in my home where I have used some of these pieces. So to begin with, I use glass canisters. I use glass canisters for storing my baking soda in my laundry area. I have used glass canisters for storing my teas and those are all thrifted pieces. I always look for those flip top glass canisters or old candle jars that have little lids on them. You can use to store clothes pins. I also use things like those canisters for granola bars in our snack cereal drawer. That way you can see what you have, see when you need to replenish it, and I just like the look of those glass canisters. You can also use them in your bathroom for like cotton swabs, um, other things like that that you want people, if you have guests, to be able to see what you have. So glass canisters is a big one. So the next are just mix match storage boxes and storage bins. So for instance, this wooden little box that we got last Christmas with cheese in it and meat, specialty meats and stuff like that as a Christmas gift, I have now used it for my essential oils in my cupboard because I use my oils every day, multiple times a day, and I wanted something cute, even though it's in a cupboard, to store. So I repurposed that to use for my oils. In our bathroom, I use this really colorful box. I think I got it in college for my nail polishes and nail gear because why not use a free box instead of going and buying a streamlined box? So I've used that. I have some plastic bins I found at the dollar store that I contain my extra tea bags in and our crackers and just to corral those bags of things that you can't always get to or that would just you know fall all over your cupboard if you don't corral them so dollar store bins for that purpose and then some of my other bins that I found off of hauler I use multiples of those all across my home closets are a huge one for me to use these bins in my closet we have a shared small closet my husband and I we use these cloth bins for our clothing so I'll put his pants in one, my husband's, and my shirt's in another. Um, he also has a container with a little lid on it that I got from Holler with socks on it. Just with having such small space, I really wanted to have bins to contain again so things aren't just sprawled all over. In our linen closet, now I redid this linen closet, probably one of the first YouTube videos I did, and it has stayed so well organized honestly and I cannot believe it so like five years ago I redid that closet and I used some of our wicker baskets we got from our wedding as a gift and then these polka dot boxes from Holler and things have just contained in those containers so well I have thus now gotten a label maker and I love that oh, my Dymo label maker to help with streamlining and organization too to help everyone else know where things are at. So just those random bins, ones you can find for pretty cheap online or at the dollar store, and then um, random boxes. Oh, another box I recently found in my flea market shop with me and Hall was this craft cheese box. We hold our um, water flavor droplets in. That is so nice and handy to have. So they're just all in a little row in a box. So those are just some random bins. Now, my favorite storage are wicker baskets, and I said I had wicker baskets in my linen closet. Yes, I do. I really like the look of wicker baskets. I use wicker 
baskets with lids for toys out here in our living room. We have a little toy box just right over here that I found garage selling for $2. I use old picnic baskets to contain blankets, um, coloring things for my daughter, just so it's not always out and sitting out. Uh, in her room, we have a little storage chest that I got $5 garage sailing. And then um, we store like our produce up on top of the fridge in a wicker basket. And wicker baskets just have a nice look to them. And I think they're all over the place. You can go to thrift stores, you can find them on marketplace and antique stores. It just honestly depends on how much you want to pay for them. You can find them new, that is for sure. You can definitely find them new. But I am one for going for um, finding them affordably in a secondhand place because lots of times they're still in nice condition secondhand. So those are a lot of my storage options that I have found that I use in my home. Oh, another one, it's just old boxes. So in my um, sock and underwear drawer, I cut the top off of a box and just have a few boxes to store. I'm not gonna show you that, but to store those socks and um, underwear. And for my daughter too, I have those boxes in there just to make dividers. Cause that honestly is free. If you order from Amazon or online, you're gonna get those boxes anyways. So tell me ways that you use thrifted storage boxes in your home or dollar store boxes. I'd love to hear it and read it in the comments below. Hopefully these gave you some ideas for when you're out shopping or out thrifting the next time you go. So I love you guys and I'll talk with you in my next video.